Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Test Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to create that right hand flickering text effect in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve, we're now on the edit page and we're going to start by bringing a new fusion composition in our timeline. Now we can move over to fusion. The first thing we want to do is bringing here a new background in our working area and linking the output of that background to our media out. I'm going to switch the color of that background to a dark gray right there. And we're going to bring a new text in our working area, link the output of that text to the background one. In my text node, I'm going to write DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to select the font Basement Grotesque. You can find that font on fontest.com. I will put the link in the description below. And then with still my text selected, I'm going to hit she spaced and search for glow bring that in and here we're going to reduce the glow to 0.7 and now that we have our text set up we can start with the animation so we're going to go to the text right click and we're going to use the follower modifier so that's just prompt upon the modifier tab we can just go over there here i'm going to switch the delay to two what the follower modifier does basically it allows us to create a delay between the animation of each letter in the text so here, for example, if I create an opacity animation by going to frame zero and dropping the opacity at zero, dropping a keyframe, and then going to frame one and increasing that to one. If we play that, as you can see, there is a delay between each letter. And we've basically set that delay here in timing. We can increase the delay or reduce the delay. So right now we're just gonna stay at two. Now we've basically created a right on animation, but we're going to go a step further and just stylize that a bit more. We're first going to do it with the color. So right now I'm going to go to frame one when I have my first letter popping in. Go down to color, just tick that to see my color panel. And here I'm going to drop a keyframe on the color being white. Then you're going to go one frame forward to frame number two. So you can simply here drag it to frame number two or the easiest way to switch between frame is simply to use your keyboard arrow right now i'm using my left one going backward and then i'm using the right one and i'm moving forward so right now we're just going to be at frame two and drag the color to whatever color we want right now i'm just going to stay with red and then we're going to move one frame forward to frame three and we're going to bring that back to white and now if we play it, it's creating that color flicker effect. There is a lot of different alternatives already with this. Right now, for example, if we want the red to stay and not only flicker, we can do that by going back to our shading tab. Right now, make sure that you're switching back to modifier because tools and modifier are two different things. And if you make a change here in tools, that will not be applied. So for what we're doing right now, you need to be in the modifier tab. That's really important. One way to make sure that you stay there is simply here to click the pin and that will just stay here on your screen. If, if you switch node, that will just stay here pinned into your inspector. So that's just a great way to always make sure to have it there. Right now, as I said, I could just go back here and remove the keyframe that I've just dropped by just clicking on it. And now instead of having it flicker, we're basically having the color being filled. So it's just going from white to red step by step. You could also add a multiple color. So right now, if I'm just selecting again on my third frame, going back to white. So we just back to what we've made originally. If I just move again, one frame forward, so frame fourth, I could just drop uh, another color. So here I could go on blue, for example, me, I'm French. I would like to make a blue, white, red uh, text that will symbolize the French flag, for example. I could do that by here, adding a keyframe on blue and then moving again one frame forward on frame five and coming back to white. And now if we play it, we have that effect where it flicker between uh, white, blue and red right there. So then you can just select the color of your choice and really make it your own. Now, another cool thing that you can do is here keyframing the appearance to have a fill and an outline switching back and forth and basically creating a right turn from an outline to a fill or from a fill to an outline. So here I'm gonna go to frame one and I'm gonna drop a keyframe on appearance on fill and then I'm gonna go one frame forward and this time I'm gonna switch from fill to outline. And if we play it, we have a different type of animation again. We could switch that to go from outline to fill. So here I'm going to go to frame one again. I'm going to just select outline instead. And I'm going to go to frame two. And I'm going to select fill instead. 
And as you can see, basically by combining those different parameter, you can really start to get something that is quite interesting. Now, another way to modify what you've just made right here is to go back to timing and here directly under the order parameter, you can select between a different kind of option. So right now it was automatic uh, by default that means basically left to right so we have a right on that came from the left side to the right side that's just a direction in which the letter will appear we could switch that to right to left instead we have also the option right here to choose inside out we could choose also outside in and to me, the one that is most interesting, random, but one by one. Right there, each letter is just popping up one by one. And I just think that's a really cool and interesting effect. Now, what if you want to easily change the color here that you've selected without altering the keyframing? You can simply here select your text, the glow, make some space, and then with the glow selected, it shift space on your keyboard, search for a color corrector, bring that in, and then here, if we go back to tool and we go where there is the animation with the color, as you can see, if we start to adjust the U, we start to get different colors. So in our case, we have already two colors selected, so we cannot really uh, exactly select the color that we want. But if you add only one color, uh, that will just be perfect to select exactly the color that you want. In our case, I'm showing you that because there is one last cool animation that we can create. So here we're going to go to frame zero. We're going to drop a keyframe on the U and then we're just going to go until the end of the animation right there and we're going to bring the U down to the minimum. And now if we play it, we're getting a multicolor text where each letter that is popping up is a different color from uh, the other one. So that's quite an interesting effect. And one cool thing before I leave you is that we could combine that technique with an infinity wall uh, text technique to really get an interesting result. So here, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna select all merge two, we're gonna hit shift space on our keyboard, and here we're gonna bring a transform node, not the one with XF, the one without XF. So transform just like this, bring that in. Then here I want to go down to image adjustment. I'm gonna tick crop. And then here we're gonna crop the left side until we reach the border of the text. And we're gonna crop the right side until we reach the border as well. Same with the top. And then same here with the bottom. And so here you probably notice that we cut all background. So I'm simply gonna recreate that background by copying the background that we have here. I'm gonna paste an instance of the background and then I'm gonna unlink the output of the transform, link it here to the instance background and then link the output of the merge to the media out. And now we have the background again. And if we were to change that color, uh, it will just be changed on both. That's why we created an instance. And now for the cool magic part, I'm gonna just go back to my transform. We're gonna just scroll down to advanced option. And then here I'm gonna switch the edge behavior from transparent to wrap around. And now we have a wall of text. We could adjust the overall size of that wall by reducing here the zoom or increasing it. So here I'm just gonna reduce it. And then I'm gonna hit shift space on my keyboard and I'm gonna search for a wave node and bring that waviness node in. Now I'm gonna switch that from vertical to horizontal. And then here I could make some adjustment to the scale, the strength and the speed. In our case, I think I'm gonna reduce the speed a tiny bit. So we're gonna reduce that. And here we go, we got our final effect. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. And see you in the next one, bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transitions, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.